Well, I said I was going to cover all the other focus trees, so let's do it. We're going to be looking at Vazarin, which, for disclosure, I don't use a whole lot, so... Eh, it is what it is. Here we are in the simulacrum with Banshee Prime and the Operator. So, Vazarin is the healer focus school, but it's also kind of a Krakatoa focus school, actually, so... Let's have a look at what it can do. This is the Vazarin Focus Tree. So we're going to look at the passives first before we look at the active abilities of Vazarin. Mending Unity is the main passive. It increases affinity radius by 25 meters. Normally this makes no difference to your general gameplay, but this is going to be rather important for one of the things that will pop up a little bit further down the line. On top of that, we also have Mending Soul. The first four revives are instantaneous. Additional revives are 100% faster. Let me show you what that looks like. We're going to be using our MOA to demonstrate what it feels like to be revived instantaneously. So hopefully the MOA will die. We'll get shot at. Okay, now it's got its overshield out, so let's just wait for it to sort of figure itself out. Oh, just got crowd control. Now it's getting shot at, and boom, it's dead. So, if I just tap, it is revived. That's the first revive. Second revive, tap, and we're good to go. Third revive, tap, and we're good to go. Fourth revive, and tap, and we are good to go. And so now, with every subsequent revive, it is going to be 100% faster. That is twice as fast. It's definitely a lot faster than normal. Just like that. Now let's have a look at the rest of the tree. We're going to be looking at the Waybound passives. We have Enduring Tides, increasing your operator health and armor by 200%. I believe when Angels of Zaraman first came out, this was only increasing your operator health. Since then, a patch has come in that has also increased your operator um, armor as well. So that's going to be really, really useful. On top of that, we also have Rejuvenating Tides. Operator health regeneration is increased by 6 health per second, and it is double when you're controlling your Warframe. Basically, because of Rejuvenating Tides, I find that when I'm using something that isn't Unairu, that every time my operator comes out, they have all of their health. So that's going to be really, really useful. Now let's have a look at the other passive, but it's not really a passive. It's kind of an active. We're talking about Void Regen. So this is an operator ability where Void Mode will start healing your operator at 10 health a second. And this will increase by 10 health a second up to a maximum of 50 health a second. And then on top of that, there's also another thing called Squad Regen. When Void Regen reaches its maximum value of 50 health a second, it is applied to all of the squad members within Affinity Range for 60 seconds. Remember, Affinity Range, this is something that was increased with Mending Unity. So that's of course going to be really, really useful. Let's have a look at how that works. As the Operator, we're going to go up against a single Corrupted Heavy Gunner. Oh no, I'm getting hit. Now let's have a look at how fast my health is regenerating using uh, Void Regen. Like that. 50 health a second. Pretty bloody fast. It is pretty bloody fast. Now let's have a look at how Squad Regen works. For the first time in 3,000 years, we're going to say Inaro's Prime is actually going to be useful! We're going to use his ability to remove about half of his health. Or a little bit more than half of his health. Okay, awesome. So, what we want to do now is we want to regenerate his health. How do we do that? We can use Vazarin. Well, there's actually 15 million ways of redo doing that, but we're going to use Vazarin. We're going to go into Void Regen mode. And then when we get that 50, now we get that squad regen that popped up. And now that we go to our Inaris Prime, and look at that, he is just self-regenerating health. How is he doing that? It is because of Void Regen. So that's essentially how that works. Now let's have a look at the active abilities that Vazarin has. The first active ability is called Guardian Shell. Use your first ability to manifest barrier of your operator and allies in affinity range. Again, affinity range, so that is of course increased by Mending Unity. It is available for 4 seconds when first created, and then damage infli inflicted while it's available will be added to its base health of 500. On top of that, there is something called Guardian Break. When Guardian Shell breaks, Warframe Shield Regeneration Rate is increased by 150%, and Regeneration Shield Delay is uh, reduced by 90% for eight seconds. Let me show you what that looks like. We're gonna go up against three Corrupted Heavy Gunners. We're gonna activate Guardian Shell and then notice how they're shooting at me but I am not getting hit. They can continue to shoot at me and I'm not getting hit. My bow is getting hit but I am not. So when there was all those particles that went like that, that's when the Guardian Shell broke. Now when the Guardian Shell is supposed to break, you're supposed to get a bunch of shield regeneration. 
We're going to demonstrate that by using Bashi again, and we're going to wait until the Guardian Shell breaks. Anytime between now and Christmas. And then watch as my shield regeneration is coming back pretty quickly. And also the delay between uh, regeneration is actually rather, rather fast. Not fast enough to keep me alive, but rather, rather fast nonetheless. And then finally, let's have a look at the second ability that comes with Vazero. We're of course going to be looking at Void Snare. So, Void Snare is the second ability that launches a projectile that spins up a Vortex Trap on impact. The idea is it's essentially just Valbaz Vortex in the ability for Vazarin. And then on top of that, we also have the ability to Void Sling through trap enemies that grants allies within Affinity Rage. Again, the same Affinity Rage that is affected by Mending Unity, i.e. that range is increased by 25%. You get to grant allies within that range 100 health. So that's of course going to be really, really useful. And then we also have Protective Sling. For the longest time I thought it was Protective Snare, but it's not Protective Snare, it's Protective Sling. I believe this has existed essentially for the longest time in Vazarin. It used to be Protective Dash, now it's Protective Sling. The idea is if you Void Sling through an ally, including your own Warframe, you are granted immunity from damage for five seconds and you're also healed 60% of your health over five seconds for 10 energy cost. Let me show you what that looks like. We're going to be using Banshee but first let me show you how the Vortex works. Like so. Grab him up. Grab him up. Grab him up. Just like that. And now we're going to wait for these enemies to no longer be Vortexed. Give it a sec. And now that they've gotten up gonna avoid sling through my banshee and I am invulnerable for five seconds and now I'm not let's try that again and now I'm invulnerable for five seconds and now I'm not and now I'm invulnerable for five seconds and now I'm not and now I'm invulnerable again for five seconds and now I'm not that's essentially the idea. So that's pretty much it. Let me know if you put all this in the comments below. How do you feel about Vazarin? I'm sure Vazarin maids are probably still going to be using Vazarin all the damn time. I personally, as a matter I main, or potentially even in another main, we'll see. I don't think I'm going to be using it all that much, but I still recognize that it can be very, very useful. The Guardian Shell, I feel like it's just a little bit too small. Everyone has been talking about how Garuda's Dread Mirror has been a little bit too small. Guardian Shell being smaller than that. I feel like it could be made a little bit larger. I was kind of expecting it to be sort of a wraparound kind of thing at least, or at least covering more of your peripheral as opposed to just this area in front of you. So that would have been really, really nice. But I guess because it also works on allies, there could be some level of extra use in it. I don't know, we'll just have to see. Also, with regards to the Void Snare, that ability is particularly useful for trying to get last gas to happen in my experience. Uh, even though Vazarin doesn't provide a whole lot of damage augmentation unlike Madurai or Nairu, trying to Void Snare a bunch of enemies together does mean that your overall damage output from your amp, if you're using something like a Kamora, does end up going up quite a lot because enemies come together, you do get to hit all of them at once. So hopefully your amp can at least kill three of them. That way you can get last gasp to happen. So it kind of still works with my now new playstyle of playing the game, which is a bit more on the Rambo side, less on the extremely um, sort of extremely careful side because of something like last gasp coming in from the Nairo class from Angels of Zaraman. But aside from that. Generally speaking, I still don't think I'm going to be using it myself, but I'm sure a lot of people will be really enjoy these changes. But that's going to be it from me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more Warframe content, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye!